Use the equation of the line to answer the questions below. What is the x-intercept point, the y-intercept point, and what is the slope? We'll start with the x-intercept point. And before we get started, let's take a look at the form of the line given here. It's almost in standard form. If we just move this negative 6 to the other side of the equal sign, it'll be in standard form. Remember, standard form is ax plus by equals c. And the a always has to be positive, and there can be no fractions or decimals anywhere. And so by moving this negative 6 to the opposite side of the equals, it's going to become positive when it crosses over and be gone from the left. And then 0 plus 6 is, of course, just 6. So now I have it in standard form, and this makes it much easier for me to quickly find each of the items that we are trying to find. So first of all, the x-intercept point is a place on the x-axis, so it's an x-location that's unknown at this moment, where uh, if it's on the x-axis, that means y is always 0. So being that we know y is 0, that is something we can use to our advantage here to solve for x when y is 0. So now if I simplify this, this 2 times 0 just becomes 0, and then 3x plus 0 is still 3x. So we have a nice simple form of this here, which if you divide both sides of this by 3, then you get x equals x equals 6 divided by 3 is 2. So now I know that the x-coordinate is 2 for my x-intercept point. Likewise, when we find the y-intercept, we are going to be looking for a location on the y-axis, which is currently unknown. But we do know that everywhere you go on the y-axis, x is always going to be 0. So just like we did before, we can take our standard form of our equation. And this time, we can plug in 0 for x and then simplify and solve for y. So the 3 times 0 becomes just 0, and 0 plus 2y is simply 2y. Then we can divide both sides by 2 to get y equals 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now I know where my y-intercept point is. Finally, finding the slope. Now, um, I think probably most students like to put it in slope-intercept form. What is that? That is y equals mx plus b. So if we can solve our equation here, take this equation and solve it for y in terms of x, then we will be able to identify the slope. And that is a perfectly fine way of doing it, although there is an easier way, which I will show you after doing it this way, because it's going to make it stick in your mind. All right, so what we're going to do is solve for y in terms of x, which simply means that you won't have a number answer. You'll have something with x in it. Okay, so we're going to start by trying to get y alone by doing inverse operations. Okay, and that's going to zero it out over here. So then we have 2y equals negative 3x and plus 6. Then we can divide by 2 to undo this here, and making sure to divide it on all the terms on the other side of the equals. And then if we simplify this, we'll have y equals mx plus b form, negative 3 halves x plus 3. Ooh, and notice there is the y-intercept 
that we found earlier. And here is the slope, negative 3 halves. All right, so that's not so bad. In fact, you could have just done that to answer both parts C and B, and then just do what we did with plugging in 0 to find the x-intercept. That's another strategy. But I encourage you to use standard form like I've done, because what I would do is for the x-intercept point, I would say, OK, y is 0, so just ignore this part. And then I can see that I just need to divide 6 by 3 to get my answer of 2. And likewise, for the y-intercept, just pretend that this has zeroed out, so ignore it. And then you can see that you just have to divide both sides by 2 to get your answer 3. And then the slope. Here's the trick for the slope. Let's take our answer that we just found and compare it with the uh, coefficients in our standard form here. Okay, so I'm going to write the answer to part C, m equals negative 3 halves. Right now notice, let's notice a few things here. The 3 in front of the x term is the same 3 that's on the top of this fraction for the slope. And also notice that the coefficient in front of y is a positive 2. And then there is this negative out front. So that is a pattern you can use with other examples. And we're going to do one more just so you can see what it looks like if your signs are a little different. OK, super fast version now. OK, to find the x-intercept point, remember we want the x and the y is 0. So we can ignore this part and just focus on solving 7x equals 14, which leads me to x equals 14 divided by 7, which is 2. So now I have the first part done. Now, I'll use a different color. So for the y-intercept, 0 for x, and we're looking for the y. So we're going to come in and put in 0 for x, which makes this whole thing go away. And now I'm just solving negative 2y equals 14, which leads me to y equals 14 divided by negative 2, which is negative 7. And so that is done. And then the slope. So the slope is the fun part. We just tried this pattern. And the pattern was, if you have it in standard form, then it'll be negative out front, and then the coefficient of x in the top and the coefficient of y in the bottom. So let's try that. That gives us m equals negative, and then what's the a value here? What's the coefficient of x? That my a. And then in the bottom, the b. Now what is b here? Is it 2? No, it's negative 2. So you need to bring that negative 2 along. And so just this portion right here is negative 7 halves. Then you have another negative out front. And we know double negatives become positives. So we get the answer. The slope is equal to positive 7 halves.